Now the garden. Oh my word, the garden. And the Lord planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put man he had formed. And out of the ground he made everything to grow, many, many trees. So the garden, eastward in Eden. Garden meaning bride. Eastward is first. Eden is pleasure. And this is what perfection is. The garden is the bride. Bride means a fenced around situation that God protects and keeps in perfection. Remember when Job came with the sons of God before God. We're still going to get to that and you'll understand it's not angels. Um, Satan said, but you have fenced him around. Isaiah says, I have built a vineyard on a very fruitful hill and I fenced it around. So what the problem is, man breaks down the fence because man was in this garden in perfection, the bride. This is God's purpose. Now, if you understand this, it is awesome. In the beginning was the word. The word beginning is the word rosh. It means before time. So what happens is Christ, the, the anointed one, came forth from the Father. And the word <laughs> brought forth the creation, which is his bride. And he is forever with it. That's why in the garden, when Adam sinned, he said, Adam, where are you? It's like a marriage situation. This is why Ephesians says, when God speaks about a man and a woman, he, it is in the natural, a man and a woman. But in the spirit, get it, it's Christ and the bride. He says, okay, I know you are on earth. Please behave you, yourself in your marriages. But it's like, He's actually bringing forth and he says something there, Christ and the church, because it's bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You will see it's the same thing that happened when he created Eve. He said, you bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. This is not stories for a children's Bible. This is principles laid down. Now, what happened is so awesome if you, read in Isaiah 11 because it says here many trees all the trees are, came forth from the ground but in Isaiah it says the forest was cut down with a rod of iron which was Rome iron is Rome come on the prophet said he will rule them with a rod of iron why they allied with Rome to take up the Christ but it's like um, coming back on them, like the story of Esther. Haman hanged on the gallows he made for Mordecai. Israel used Rome to take out the Christ. Rome took out Israel. Judaism. So the, the Bible stories are all intermingled and the principles are laid down in the beginning books. This is why Genesis is so important. Now... In Isaiah, we read that the forests were thick, but the axe cut it off. And out of the stem of Jesse comes one branch, a little branch of no significance. Jesus Christ means branch of no significance. And what he says there is, the spirit of God is on him. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel and might, knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Whoa! Whoa, what was the other tree in the garden? Knowledge. It was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's a double. Where the tree of life was single, but the singleness has a sevenfold spirit. The spirit of God, wisdom, understanding, counsel and might, knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Now, when Christ came, when the Son came, and became our light. <laughs> the tree of life was nailed to the other tree of knowledge. And the tree of knowledge, the DNA was restored to the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Is that not just awesome? We can preach the whole of 
the gospel out of Genesis 1 and 2. Now the next thing is in the garden, there was a river that flowed from Eden and it broke into four branches, four meaning earthy. There were four days and the fourth day was the reformation that formed the four next days. <laughs> so that's why when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son. Now we know that Jesus was the door and the river gushed through the door. Now in Revelation 22, he says, out of the throne and the lamb comes a river. In the middle of the river was a street. How can you get a street in the middle of the river? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. This is the way to go. And he says, on both sides was the tree of life. Now the tree of life, meaning flowing. There is a word that explains tree of life that's connected to that, that means flowing. So it means that literally through the tree of life came the provision which branched out in four rivers, the Pison, Gion, Euphrates, and Tigris. And the, the meaning of these rivers are crazy. The first one is increase. The second one is breaking forth. The third one is rushing. And the final one is fruitful. Now, if you take the progression after the cross, the cross was the river came forth from the lamb, ankle deep, knee deep, thigh deep, shoulder deep, <laughs> increase, rushing, bursting forth. And the final one is fruitful. Well, what is the final thing? Harvest, rest. It all comes into one. <laughs>